Game day 18 of the Serie A. We are officially halfway through the Serie A season 23-24. Last team Milan will be facing is going to be Sassuolo, a team that has given us plenty of nightmares and headaches in the past. As we all know, AC Milan is going through an injury crisis that is quite worrying. But fear not, my dear Milanisti, because Sassuolo has also been hit by the injury crisis bug, and Dionisi is going to have a lot of head scratching to do to figure out how to get past AC Milan. So let's get this out of the way right now. If Milan were to have a negative result, the injury crisis cannot be used as an excuse since both teams are facing similar issues. So before looking into the probable formations, let's see where both teams are on the Serie A table. Milan is third, currently at 33 points, 10 wins, 3 ties, 4 losses, 31 goals scored, and a very worrying 20 goals conceded. Obviously, very important match for Milan to win. Fiorentina has the same points as us currently, and if Bologna wins and we don't, they might have either the same points as us if we tie, or they will be one point above us. Sassuolo having a very difficult season this year at 15th with only 16 points, 4 wins, 4 ties, 9 losses, 25 goals scored and 32 conceded. Obviously this is not the best version of Sassuolo we have seen throughout the years. Add on to it their injury crisis, Milan has no excuses but to look at this game as a must win. According to the probable formations of Gazzetta dello Sport, Milan will be playing 4-3-3. It looks like Pioli will be putting faith into his veterans to take care of defensive duties. Teo Hernandez moved into the centre-back role and Florenzi on the left-back, while Chiaier on right centre-back and Calabria right full-back. The three in the midfield, what I consider to be our best on paper, Reindeers on the left, Benacer in the middle and Loftus-Cheek on the right. The trident up top is going to be what Pioli has defined as his best three, Leao on the left, Giroud the centre-forward and Pulisic on the right, who's having a very good season. Obviously, the bench is going to be thin due to our injury crisis, especially in defense, but we do have some young, exciting Primavera players, Simic and Bartesagi, waiting for their turn to step on that field and show their worth. And of course, with the injury of Okafor, it is being reported that Pioli is thinking of bringing in Camarda. Will we see him play? I don't know. But if he does play, hopefully it won't be the last five minutes of the game where the team is just defending the result. As far as Sassuolo, they will be playing with their usual 4-2-3-1. Milan must be very careful with the quartet up top, especially with players like Lorente, Piramonti, and also familiar face Castillo. But most importantly, Berardi, who seems to love scoring goals and providing assists against Milan. Arguably, Milan's biggest weakness this year is the ability of opposing teams to just play through us like a hot knife through butter. And Sassuolo with that quartet will definitely be giving our defense a few head scratches. So it is extremely important that tomorrow our big guns Leao, Pulisic, Giroud and the midfielders get the job done when we're in front of goal, score those goals, be clinical. It is going to be absolutely essential. The reports are also saying that if Pioli does not get the result tomorrow, this could potentially be his last game with Milan. And if you want to know who I think the next coach should be, click on the video on the bottom left corner. And don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know who you think is going to win against Milan versus Sassuolo.